Cummins DEF issue. How's it going guys? Andrew the American Diesel. So we have a 2019 Ram 5500 with a 67 Cummins. And uh, so we're facing some trouble with the uh, the reductant heater. Um, so this one's going to be on the suction line. So you have reductant heater on the tank and then also on the line itself. And that line goes from the pump all the way to the def injector. So that one's just a really simple one. It's just like as if you're checking like a like an evap solenoid, anything like that's two wire, uh, just power and ground, pretty much that's all it is. So we're gonna go up underneath there, check the connector, check the wires, just a real simple test, put an annoyed light and just see if the if the light turns on. All right, so let's go up underneath there. All right guys, so we found the connector. Uh, so if you just look right here on the driver's side frame rail, there'll be a def tank right here and up underneath there, you just pull this up and this is the connector. So we're gonna disconnect this. We're gonna put a noise light on the uh, harness side and then we'll see if this thing flashes or not. All right guys, so I got the noid light connected now. So we're gonna come back over here. We're gonna back all the way out and we're gonna find that test. So we're gonna go to all social tests, engine, continue. Come down over here. We're gonna do the the def reductant pressure line heater test. Okay, unlock the gateway. Let me put in my credentials real quick. So I got my credentials in there. So let's press continue, let's do this test. And we should see that light pulse. There it goes. So what does that tell you? That means the power and ground to that module are good. And then more likely it's gonna be that line right there. Let's let it finish out. Okay. Test in progress. Should be finishing up right now. Okay. So we know that this is good. So now what we need to do is we need to check the resistance on here. And uh, and that should be our culprit right there. So let's check the resistance, see what we get. So I got my terminals in here and then uh, got these from AES Wave. So got those two in here, check your resistance. As you can see, it's all well. So that's gonna be our issue. It's just gonna be this uh, this def line heater. So this thing just goes from here all the way to the def injector. So yeah, guys, as you can see, it wasn't really that bad. Pretty standard testing, power ground. Uh, we had noid light there, so that helped us out a lot. So we didn't even have to test for you know, power and ground because that light was already lighting up. <clears throat> and then as far as like, you know, the other side, simple ohms test, you know, just check to see if the if the circuit was open, which it was. That one should read within at least two to three ohms. <clears throat> That's my usual finding on those. And uh, so if they want to proceed with it, we'll make a part two. But if not, the, if this is it, uh, well, <laughs> I appreciate you guys uh, following the content. I appreciate you guys liking the content, you know, and everything in between. So uh, just uh, keep on watching and appreciate you guys. American I Diesel think Tech. I like when it rains. There is no diesel like American Diesel.